on that. And as always, we're just going to connect without a breath. So sitting in a nice comfortable position, either with the legs crossed or legs however is comfortable for your body. And then just placing the hands down onto the knees, just feeling nice and grounded, start to lengthen up through the back. Imagine you've got that piece of string pulling up the head. And then we're just going to drop the chin to the chest on the inhale. And then take a nice big circle around and exhale. Good, lovely big circle around to the right. Just do a couple more in that direction, just opening up the front side and back of the throat. Good stuff. And then coming back to the center and we're gonna to go to the other direction. Deep breath in, drop the chin. And then as you exhale, start to circle around the other way. Just really feeling all the edges of the neck here that support the head. Just having a nice circle. Good. Excellent, everyone. And then coming back to the center. Good, finding the head right in the middle. We're gonna breathe in, we're gonna reach the arms up. Take your right hand onto your left wrist and just start to gently pull your left side a bit longer. Just making sure we're sitting down onto the body there. We're gonna take those um, that arm down onto the right knee and feel the back start to open. And then very gently through the center and just roll yourself back up through the spine. Nice and slowly, good. Other side, deep breath in. Left hand onto the right wrist and then just pulling over that side for that nice opening in the rib cage. Reaching long and then pull yourself down onto the left side. Into the center, relax the head and chest and then rolling up through the spine. Good, last time, deep breath in as you reach up interlacing your fingers and then start to push the palms of the hands up towards the ceiling. So we're opening up through the back of the wrists here, giving the fingers a little stretch, draw the shoulders up. And then as you exhale, start to gently pull them down. Good, one more time, deep breath in, peel them up. Exhale, pull them down, lovely. And then just transitioning over to your hands and knees for your four point posture. Great guys. Now, as always, we're going to take a few of our cat and cows nice and slowly, taking any direction that you like. So you can close down the eyes and just sort of take an internal scan here, scooping up through the abdominals, arching, going left to right, moving forward and back, whatever feels nice for your body. Really enjoy a nice fluid movement through the spine here. And just taking a couple more rounds there. You wanna feel the belly button pull up to the back as you push that spine up behind you. And then taking that nice gentle reach. Good everyone. Okay, we're gonna find ourselves directly in the center of those two points, yeah? I'm gonna take our left leg back behind us and just flex the left toes and just start to stretch out through the back of the left knee. So you're just gonna move forward and back, pushing the heel of the left foot down towards the floor. So I'm gonna keep the left knee really straight here and get a little bit of a stretch there. Good, and then on your next deep breath in, looking down at the hands, make sure the fingers are spread nice and wide, drawing up through the abdominals, press down through the palms, and then we're gonna elevate that left leg off the mat, good. Now you've got options, you can keep the hands down here and just do the legs, or if you want to make it a little bit harder, we're gonna take that opposite arm forward. We're gonna take a little drift out to the side, back to center, deep breath in to lower, and exhale, extend. Inhale, side, exhale, center. Inhale, lower, and reach. Good, keep breathing, and exhale. And inhale, and exhale. Deep breaths. And down, very nice, everybody. Good, looking good out there. One more. Nice, guys, now we're gonna hold it there. We're gonna just take our left knee now and bring it towards our left elbow, using those core muscles as side obliques, and exhale, send it long. Keep that right arm extending out to test the balance or bring it down to the mat, completely up to you. We're squeezing into those side obliques and extending long for three and two. 
nice hip movement guys last one there reach it long flex the toes of the left foot and place that left foot down bring your right hand in take a deep breath in as you exhale take your right leg to join we're finding a quick plank here so nice secure plank drop the pelvis little bend into the elbows we're scooping the belly up into the spine take a deep breath and then exhale, drop the knees, release the feet and push your bottom back to find your first child's pose. Nicely done guys. Take a very deep breath there. You can just sort of roll out your wrists there if you need a little bit of a wrist release before we move to the second side. Take a really deep breath. Lovely guys. And then we're gonna draw ourselves up to find our second side. So again, finding that nice secure Four point posture. We're going to tuck the toes of the right leg now and just start to hover forward and back, just opening up the back of the right knee. Feel a little stretch into that calf muscle. That's it. Yeah, we just want to find a bit of movement in the hip as well. And then finding that secure position, looking down at the hands, fingers are spread wide. We're lock, not locking out those elbows, little bend, and we're going to elevate that right leg. Good optional arm reaching forward as we drift out to the side on the inhale back to center deep breath in exhale extend now as we bring that leg up after the extension don't go too high just to the pelvis level of height there that's it deep breath in exhale inhale exhale controlling the movement use the core to stabilize and the breath to guide you through the exercise beautiful guys and exhale, deep breath, last one, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now you can hold it there with that arm or you can bring that hand down completely up to you. We take a deep breath in as we draw that right elbow to the knee and then exhale, we reach long behind us. Inhale, draw it in using those obliques. Exhale, extend nice and smooth everybody, beautiful, deep breath in. Imagine I'm pulling that foot back behind you, finding length in the knee. Two more. And one more. Beautiful, guys. Tuck the toes of your right foot down to the mat. Take a deep breath in as you bring your left hand down. Press into your hands, scoop up through the belly and extend your left leg back to find your plank once more. Dropping the pelvis, open up through the back of the shoulders, press down through the hands. Take one more deep breath. As you exhale, gently release the knees, push yourself back and take child's pose number two. Very good, guys. Take your very deep breath there. Lovely, everyone. And then in your own time, just gently move yourself over onto your bottom. We're gonna roll down onto our mat. So from this position, we find a lovely tall spine. And then we're going to scoop back into those abdominals, lowering all the way down with control and bringing our knees with us. Give our knees a nice little squeeze and just take a couple of rolls here for that lower back. You might find that your lower back has a little like a click, a little uh, morning open up of that spine. Take one more breath that direction and then we're going to stretch the arms and legs up. Take a full stretch reaching with the fingertips, reaching with the toes, and then take your other leg on top, and same thing, draw those knees in, take some nice circles there. Feel that lovely release in the lower back. Good, everyone. Then we're gonna place the feet down, just take a quick windscreen wiper, knock your knees left to right to release the pelvis once more. Good, everyone. Okay, we're gonna take our right knee into the chest now, so draw your right knee in, take your basket grip with your hands, just keep your left leg in a comfortable uh, seated sort of stance for the foot. And then just start to roll your right knee around, opening up your right hip socket, finding space in that pelvic area up on the right side. And then reversing around the other direction, deep steady breaths here. Nice. Good, now we're gonna send that leg up towards the ceiling. Just take your hands to the back of the knee for a little bit of support and just take a few nice gentle circles into the ankle. 
might find here a few clicks, early morning clicks, and then round the other way. Good, everyone, beautiful, that's it. And then we find a lovely pointed foot, so we're stretching the knee as much as we can. If you struggle with the knee, you can keep a little bend, that's fine, but do your best to keep it really straight. Hands to the back of the neck in crunch position. We're gonna draw our head and chest up to our open crunch posture. We take a deep breath and we're going to take the opposite arm to our leg, reaching for those toes. On our inhale, we're going to lower arm and leg and then exhale, we reach for the outside of the ankle. Deep breath in, we reach long and exhale, we squeeze and lift. Inhale, we lower. Exhale, we squeeze on the diagonal, find that length in the spine as you reach up across. Two more, find the abdominals working really hard here. Good, one more time, reaching across and find some little pulses there. So deep breaths in, gentle exhales, reaching for the outside of the ankle for five, four, three, two, one. Now hold the leg there, bring the arms back to center, come a little higher if you can, and extend your left leg out long. Good, now bend your right knee in, and we're gonna take the opposite elbow to the right knee. Deep breath in, exhale, Inhale, extend the right leg and exhale, draw us in. Inhale and exhale. Diagonal position with that right leg. You can drop the left leg down to the mat if you need. Breathing in and exhaling. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, inhale. Lower back's really working hard to stay flat here. One more. Good, last one here guys. Hold it out there on the diagonal. Bring both legs up, take a deep breath in, and exhale, give them a squeeze. Good job, really good work, guys. Yeah, so while you're just having a little breather, before we do that on the second side, just remember, we wanna try and keep this back flat on the floor. So we have to use those lower abdominals to tuck that pelvis and draw the belly button down into the floor. Nicely done, everyone. Let's do that on the second side. So take now your left knee into the chest and just start with those lovely circles. Just circling that knee around, feel the lower back, have a little bit of a stretch here. That's it, and then around the other direction. Again, opening up through the spine. Feel that nice, relax. Good, and then we're gonna send that leg up, gonna take the hands to the back of the knee and then just move into those ankle rotations. Remember, if it's too much, you can take a bend if you need to. Aiming for a lovely straight knee with those nice gentle circles. Good, and then we're gonna point the toe. We're gonna take the hands to the back of the head. Draw yourself up to that crunch position, and then we take the opposite arm to the outside of the ankle, knee bending if you need. We take a deep breath in, we lower the both arm and leg, and then exhale, we reach long. Deep breath in, we lower, and exhale. Now guys, if you can, really extend this arm nice and long. Yeah, if you've got space behind you, reach that arm long, and exhale, we want everything lengthening in Pilates. Long, strong muscles. Good, two more. Last one. We're gonna hold it up there and find those little pulses reaching on the diagonal. Scooping the belly down for five, four, three, two, one. Draw yourself back to centre, hands to the back of the neck. We take that right leg and we stretch it out long. Remember, if it gets too much, you can drop it down to the mat. We bend the left knee in. We take a deep breath in, come across. Exhale, centre. Inhale, reach. Exhale, centre. Deep breath and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Opposite elbow to the knee, find that length, draw it in. Two more, inhale, <sighs> inhale, <sighs> last one there, good. Nice everybody, take it back out into the diagonal, reach that underneath leg up, both legs up, and then exhale, squeeze the knees in. Good job my friends, well done. Lovely work, take a few little circles. Anything that feels nice. Taking it back and forth, all of that. 
Good work, guys. Okay, bring those feet down. We're going to do a few of our pelvic floor exercises into our bridge before we move on. So just taking your hands like this and just placing your hands on those lower abdominals down near your hip bones. And we're going to take a few of our plate rotations. So we're going to tuck the pelvis, draw the hips towards the ribs as you scoop the abdominals down and feel your lower back really imprinting on the floor here. As you take that in the reverse, send your hips away from you and you'll find a little space between your lower back and the mat. Just move through a couple of these at your own pace, scooping, contracting and then arching and releasing. On the next tuck, you're going to roll all the way up to your bridge. So take your time extending the arms up today as we find a really strong bridge posture. Push the pelvis nice and high. Take a deep breath up here and see if you can actually come a little bit higher. So can you come a bit higher into your pelvic floor muscles pushing up? Think of that lower back really pressing up. Knees are in line. Good, we're gonna take a deep breath in as we open the arms, we're gonna drop the pelvis halfway and then exhale, reach and extend with control. Deep breath in, we lower, we're going halfway with the pelvis, arms open and exhale, push. Three more, deep breath in. As you push up, really squeeze your lower bottom, squeeze up, push higher, two, and last one, we're going to hold at the top. We're going to hold it here, reach your palms down towards the mat, find the floor with the arms, push a little higher and rise up into the balls of the feet. Good. And lower. Deep breath in, we lift the balls of the feet. Sorry, heels, not balls of the feet. And lower. We're pressing into the balls of the feet to lift the heels. Inhale and exhale a little bit higher with the pelvis. One more. And exhale, keep the pelvis high as you roll down, top of the spine, middle of the spine, lower back all the way through your spine. And very gently with ease, just relax back down, draw those knees in. Nicely done, guys. Give them a really tight squeeze. Keep focusing on opening up the hips. Good job. And then we're gonna scoop underneath the knees, take a few rolls up and down your spine. Just taking this nice and gentle. On the next one, you're gonna take yourself all the way up and then just swing your legs around to find your sideline posture. Nice floor work, guys, good job. So just coming down onto either your elbow, like all the way down like this, or you can lie down onto your side, whatever you prefer for your neck, just as always, make sure you do the same on the second side, yeah? So we're gonna just keep our underneath leg just in a comfortable bent position, stretch our top leg long and flex the top leg, draw those toes back towards the shin. Top hand, just placing it down in front of you just to watch any alignment issues. We wanna keep everything really straight. We take a deep breath and we're gonna bring that foot forward. We're gonna tap it down to the floor, lift, exhale back to the mat and down, and lift, so it's going to the bottom of our mat today. Deep breath in, lower, and reaching back, exhale, lower lift. Deep breath in, keep that leg very straight, using those muscles to move the leg really smoothly. Good, inhale, exhale, good, inhale, exhale, now, when you come forward, make sure it's in line with your hip. So it's very square. We're working the hamstring there. That's it. One more. We're going to hold it forward now after this dip. Hold it there. Point your toe. And then start to draw some tiny circles on the camera here. So little circles with that big toe. Keep using those abdominals to support the posture. And reverse your little circles. Keep breathing. Good, everyone. For five, four three, two, one, bring it back in line with the bottom of the mat. And then we're going to extend our underneath leg long. Draw up through those side obliques, pull up through that side body, press down through the top hand and we lift the underneath foot and exhale lower. So underneath foot is joining the top foot, using those inner thighs and abductors. Deep breath in, 
and exhale and inhale and exhale three more for three two and hold this last one at the top lift a little higher draw the belly in we're going to do a quick scissors here so underneath foot forward top leg back switch the position forward and back steady gentle breaths we breathe in we exhale we breathe in going a little bit faster now and exhale one more deep breath squeeze that core squeeze that core exhale draw the legs together come a little higher and release down nicely done guys just take that top arm reaching out long take a full stretch there beautifully done and then very gently just ease yourself up and we're going to come into our side forearm plank with our knees down or legs extended long so your choice shoulder over the elbow pressing down through that hand you can make a fist or place the hand down and just take that top hand and give yourself a little hug pull that side body up before you even start so we want to make sure we're drawing that side body up pressing down through the forearm either coming up onto the knees or maybe coming all the way up onto that side plank and we reach that top arm up we're going to take a deep breath as we dip the pelvis and then exhale we push back up deep breath and we lower and exhale for three good two hold the last one at the top push a little higher open through the chest take your gaze up to the top arm and then gently lower down on the exhale well done guys just bring yourself up take a little quick side sweep over feel that nice opening and then very gently we're going to go straight to the second side so just swing those legs around or just turn yourself around in any way you need to and then just remember what we did on the first side with our arms we want to make sure we do the same underneath leg is nice and relaxed and bent top leg is parallel and we're flexing those toes back towards us pressing down into that top arm deep breath and we come forward we tap down we lift exhale back to the bottom of the mat tap down and lift back of the knee is really straight here keep that back of the knee nice and extended good inhale and exhale good inhale and exhale good keep nice long elongated posture make sure your chin's not on your chest here i'm going to keep that spine still working in that side line good everyone people i can see really nice clean work hold this one forward now point the toe and find those little circles on the front of the screen there so from the top of the hip we're moving that leg around think of moving it in the femur up in the top of the pelvis and reverse good nice straight leg nice straight leg for three two one beautiful send it to the bottom of your mat and we're going to extend that underneath leg long we're drawing up through that side body we lift the underneath leg and exhale we lower inner thigh squeezing to lift and exhale inhale squeeze to lift and exhale using those inner thighs really well good for three for two good and one now hold it up here and we're going to take that little scissor action so forward and back forward and back as you get comfortable and find that coordination start to move a little bit faster breathing in breathing out two more deep breaths in and out last big breath point those toes stretch those knees feet together hold it up and exhale release it down take that long stretch nicely done everyone good gently just assist yourself up and we're going to find that final little side plank so remember you can keep the knees down if you need supporting through that underneath side body really pressing down there we draw that side oblique section up pulling up through the side take a deep breath in and exhale we find that nice strong side plank deep breath in we lower and exhale we push to lift inhale lower 
and exhale. Deep breath, tall through that top arm. Make sure you're really reaching that top arm up long. That's it, good. One more of these, deep breath in. Exhale, hold, looking up to that top arm, lengthening a little bit longer. And exhale, gently lower, bend those knees in and take a quick side stretch. Beautiful job, everyone. Deep breath there. Nicely done, nicely done. Good, exhale back to center. Okay, let's very, very quickly just stretch it out, guys. That, that half an hour just goes so fast, doesn't it now? <laughs> so we'll sit down on our bottom. Let's take a few seated stretches. So you're just going to take your left leg out long and today you're also gonna take your right leg out long. So don't worry about the width of the legs. Yeah, we're taking a forward stretch into the hips. You can have them a bit more narrow. If it's comfortable, take them out to the side. You know, take a nice tall back and then just start to curl your head forward. So this is a really quite a strong stretch for your hamstrings, um, your inner thighs, your abductors, everything really. So just take it nice and gently. We're gonna to start to slowly lower the head and chest down to the floor and just let your back start to release and pull the head down. I'm gonna take one more deep breath down there and then very gently roll up through the spine. Bend your right knee in, draw it in towards you. And then you're gonna take your left hand onto your right knee and then start to reach over to your the opposite hand to the foot. So reaching long, find that lovely length. Try to keep both sides of your tailbone on the floor here. And then using that breath to draw yourself back up, take that same hand as the bent knee to the floor and then we're gonna stretch the other way. Again, keeping both parts of your bottom really glued to the mat here. Take one more deep breath, exhale, draw the body up, and then just switching sides. So you're gonna take your left leg in now, extending the other leg out long, take the opposite hand to the bent knee, and the other arm's gonna reach up and over for that lovely side stretch. Again, making sure sitting down nice and square, reaching long there. And then very gently with ease, draw the arms up, and then take the same hand as the bent leg down to the floor, reaching away for that lovely side extension. Exhale, bring it back to the center. Lovely, guys. Nice, let's take a little bit of the back open up. So just bring your legs in now. Come back up to your four point posture, but bring your feet to touch, so your feet are touching. Take your left hand to the center of the mat, take your right hand onto the right shoulder, I'm peeling the right side, take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, you're gonna spiral the right arm under, and then sink back to a child's pose and reach that left arm long. So a nice twisted arm, upper body, and then melting down into your child's pose. Feel the shoulders really open here, and opening through the back of the shoulders. And then very gently just draw that position back up, rewind, so you extend the arm out, reaching long for the opening in the shoulder and place it down for the second side. So second side, right, um, right hand pressing down, left hand to the left shoulder, we open wide to start, feel that twist in the upper body and then scooping under, spiraling under with that left arm, that's it, and then sit yourself back, reach the right arm and melt down there. Feel the opening in the back of the pelvis, arms are reaching. One more really deep breath. And then pressing down, we're gonna unwind out of that posture. So reaching all the way up, all the way forward. Nice, everybody. And then just transition yourself back to your bottom where you started the class. And we'll finish off with our breathing. So just before we do that, just take your hands and just interlace your fingers. Just do a few little rollouts. We didn't do that much work for our wrists today, but just to always keep the wrists nice and pliable, this is a nice little exercise just to mobilize wrist joints and keep them nice and healthy. Good, my friends. Okay, let's do our three breaths as always to finish the class making ourselves set up for a beautiful Wednesday. So deep breath in, reaching the arms up, inhale. Exhale, pressing down. 
good, lots of positive energy, positive vibes. Get rid of any negativity with this exhale. And you're at home, guys, so make this last one really loud. Big exhale. Good job, guys. Well done, everybody. Amazing work.